are you, blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. Who else is to blame if not you? See, even Bigby agrees with me, as incompetent as he is. Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. The woodsman is a person of interest. From what we've been able to gather, he was last seen with the victim. The woodsman? That drunk wretch was the cause of this? It's a lead. Nothing's certain yet. Well, find him. Get him in here if that's all you have to go on. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. The last thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't oh, bother. Forget it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. Or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. Smoke away. Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. The mere scent of stress and he's out the door. Is... Is he gone? Yes, thankfully. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Mm, not sure that was any more specific. Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. Hello, Vivian. Hi, this is Snow White. Are you interested? Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps. After the genie's been freed. Try. Yes, I do. Through 
again and get back to you. Mm -hmm. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then? Or what he did to get them. I'll be sure to let him know. Strength. I guess it comes in all forms. Magic mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel, but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. If you're able, tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Snow White. <laughs> Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. <laughs> Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Show me the woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 
You know what this means? Tarot is a backwards art. I wouldn't put too much stock in its wisdom, Bigby. Not when you've been so helpful. Prevision's muddy. I'm as clear as a window. Start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Hmm. Me. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. Yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. What's that? Your boss. His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. I've seen this before. <laughs> this symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Colin and his brothers. Beast. Beauty and the Beast. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Red Riding Hood's knight in shabby armor. The woodsman? Yep, and his axe. Blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Show me Donkey Skin Girl. The name you are using no longer applies. She cast off her nickname to help her disguise. Get me her real name and I'll show you what I can. I'm this close. <laughs> I'm sorry. But threats won't help you. Find her name, Bigby. Show me Buffkin. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. from the Good China of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. What 
good, sir. It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. What's it say about that? It says Bricklebit in an older elvish hand. What's Bricklebit? A magic word. What's it do? Makes animal shit gold. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone bless that thing? I only translate. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairairair
That'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. Sorry. I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes? I... He is? Hold on. Bigby. It's for you. Bigby! It's me, Toad. You there? What do you want? Bigby! Shit! Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, well, hang on. Mm -hmm. Oi! Shit! Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Options. Maybe it doesn't work. It's a nice one. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. Well, where to first? The trees? Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Hey. Toad sounds like he needs help right now. We can check in on Prince Lawrence after. Okay. I'm not looking forward to breaking the news to him anyway. And we ended up going out the window and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse in the day. Is somebody up there? Hey! Wait here. I don't even remember half of this shit. Woodsman never did much reading anyway. What kind of asshole swings a lamp at a guy? Probably get that fixed.
Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. That was it, though. Uh, not it what is, I checked. It is, Nothing it but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry it's for dragging Miss White into this. And friends. Thanks for coming. Much appreciated. So many friends. Dang it. So I went to there. Whoopsies. Is he going to get one? Are you alright? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna... So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes, so just stand over there and shut all up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, it's all. Uh, have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. It's not necessarily horror, per se, but... Ups. I feel I like right? it kind of fits the bill, though. Uh... Hey, you know what? Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection. I'd really love to see it. Is it in your room? It has a weevil. Cool. Ah, uh, not spooky, but it. I played Just it. Mind the upholstery while you're looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. <laughs> it's kind of like. If you've ever heard any of the Telltale games, a huge like build your own adventure kind of a thing and that goes well into it. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, playing salts and salt fish. Who knows with the lad? I mean, I don't know if I'd go to that, to that I, mean, I guess it was kind of a villager. Sure, I don't know if I wanted to go to that extreme. But. I'll need to get a dustpan one of these days. Yeah, it's weird. I played it a while back for like 30 minutes, and I was like, ooh, this game's good, and I just never went back to play it. But Yuki redeemed it, so. Here we are. <laughs> you bleeding? Why? Is that blood still fresh? Yes. Oh, yes. Well, no spoilers, I'll please. I've uh, been to actually play like that. Trying know. to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Lamp in pieces, blood on the wall. It's awful, I know. Sounds painful. This Oi, is crap. Don't you go, Mother Enning, now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Hooks have been a fable, I suppose. Oh, wow. And a frog. I was gonna go in ticket. Mr. Vile Wigman. Okay. <laughs> Bam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have vacationing and stuff to do. And sleep. It's probably more of the thing, right? <laughs> There's more blood over here. On the bunker? <laughs> I must yeah. I've got to run. What happened? Oh well that's that's how it happened. Have a good one, didn't bye. It? Oh, I was I was poking the coals and it oh, slipped a bit. Coming by and saying hello. My foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say something, out with it. You 
cut yourself, but didn't put the poker away after? Oh, I'm sorry, my housekeeping's not up to your standards. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not... And you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll see. You know what happened, I... No, there's marks here on the windowsill. Oh, that? fire! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire! 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 Just last night, when I was out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. And <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. I wonder I wonder how I want. Yes, we can. We can. I feel kind of bad because I don't know how, like, in comparison, how long or how the uh, <laughs> the the overruling of the audio is. Wanna? Oh, no. I saw something. a mark over here, too. What you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Ah, uh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Okay, Sheriff, now what? So you're telling me he left a toy here? Long enough for me to be able to tell when it's been taken away. Well, he forgets about them, you know, because he has so many. Looks like somebody kicked in the door. A spot of dust and a broken lock. What are you getting at, mate? Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Hmm. Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running? Didn't stop the recycling? What's the point of all this, mate? Really? Busted. Hmm. Toad, come on. What's the story here? The story, Sheriff, is that this place is falling to crackers. Everything's broken and rotten and busted. Just where do you think that smell comes from? Can't buy that bit of lovely in a spray, can you? <laughs> Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I call, really I am, but will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet? You say to my face that you think I'm hiding something from you. Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. 
in my own bloody home. It's not seemly. When? When I figure out what's going on here, Toad, you can help the process along, you know. Oh, how am I gonna help the process along? Tell me what happened, right now. I keep telling you, this is just a misunderstanding. A, a series of accidental mishaps. This is all getting a bit stressful, all right? <laughs> Please, just take it easy. I have my limit for bullshit, Toad. And I think we reached it ten minutes ago. Now, Dad! you're gonna tell me what's going on here, or I'm gonna start... Dad! Bigby, is this really necessary? Oh. What is it? Is it hurt? Maybe, uh, maybe it's... It got away from me a bit. Dad! Oh my god. Take off your hat. Bigby, you didn't... He didn't. <sighs> it was that butcher, a, a tweedle, thumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their johnnies before you can tell which is which. They come bulging in, screaming about something the woodsman had. Or thought he had, I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. I tried to go out the window, but he pulled me back in. <sighs> it's been a hard morning, I could tell you that. You know where the Tweedle went? No, he didn't happen to mention his nightly plans while he was busy braining me. Sorry. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. I don't agree with Mr. Shins. If this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard a coat. He wouldn't take it. Whose coat? The girl. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes? Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. We'll merely repossess what's been left behind. Well, we'll be taking the coat now. If she has next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. How's it going, George? Fine bit of dress it is. Welcome in. Now I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. For my luck, it's a map to some bloody doubloons. It's addressed to Prince Lawrence. Do you want to try and give it to him, or...? Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Well, it's been quite a surprising day for all of us, hasn't it? I'm doing good. See you out. But I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. I'll be honest, Bigby, I don't really know how to feel about what happened in there. We got what we came for. Some information. It'll be all right. So, the prince is now? Lawrence is. Yeah. So, that's what he did. 